we make choices every day that can either help or hurt our environment. And there's been a huge push recently to do way more to reduce the hurt. Thankfully, technology is giving us the tools to move towards a greener lifestyle every day. And, although it's difficult to create products that result in 0% harm, strides are being taken to find alternatives to some of the more detrimental practices that our society takes part in. Lab-grown diamonds are an eco-friendly alternative to their mine counterparts, and we're here with some astounding facts to show you why. Diamonds are mined via three separate mining processes, pipe, alluvial, and marine. The two varieties of pipe are open pit mining and underground mining. Alluvial mining uses the process of sorting through gravel for rough diamonds which can contribute to increased runoff and river pollution. Finally, marine requires harvesting diamonds from the seabed, which in certain places like Namibia can account for the majority of their diamonds. But this process has similar impacts to dredging by destroying kelp beds and reefs. Diamonds move from mines in Africa, India, Canada, Russia, and Australia to major trading centers around the world. Diamonds then move to cutting centers in Tel Aviv, New York, India, and Thailand. Polished diamonds are offered to buyers, then to retailers. The entire process was orchestrated by industry giant De Beers with advertisement A Diamond, diamond is, forever, is Forever, De Beers, which owns mines and trading centers and has only recently started to lose its grasp on the international market of diamonds and therefore its control on the price of diamonds. The mining processes require resources. According to a 2021 report from Imperial College, the median amount of carbon dioxide per carat of a mined diamond is around 108.5 kilograms per carat, with the amount of earth extracted standing at around 250 tons per carat. Moving so much material requires substantial amounts of energy, which usually comes from fossil fuels. Their use releases carbon and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Mining processes can also interact negatively with local ecosystems, release pollutants into the water and air, and make loads of noise. The issues with diamond mining don't end with environmental impacts, even though many brutal civil wars have now ended. Violence in diamond mines remains a serious problem. Many diamonds are still stained by severe human rights abuses such as forced labor, beatings, torture, and murder. The first thing that might pop up on a quick search for ethical or sustainable diamonds are lab-grown. Yep, diamonds no longer take billions of years under the earth to create. They can be made pretty efficiently in a lab anywhere, requiring no mining at all, and they are technically still real diamonds, at least chemically, physically, and visually. Lab diamonds are created in one of two ways high-pressure high-temperature technique or chemical vapor deposition technique. The HPHT method is the original method of creating lab-grown diamonds. Gem-quality HPHT diamonds were introduced in the 1950s and the process consists of putting a tiny diamond in carbon and heating the seed up to over 2,000 degree Fahrenheit and pressure of around 1.5 million pounds per square inch. The carbon around the tiny diamond then melts into a diamond, giving a glittery, bigger diamond. CBD, on the other hand, was created in the 1980s, puts the seed in a vacuum chamber full of carbon-filled gases and heat of around 1,500 degree Fahrenheit. The carbon in the gas turns into plasma and layers onto the diamond seed, creating what are called type 2A, or super chemically pure diamonds that are extremely rare to find out in the wild. 
CVDs are more widely available than HPHT diamonds because the CVD process is less expensive and easier to scale. Physically, the resulting lab diamond is nearly identical to a mine diamond, and you definitely won't be able to differentiate it just by looking at it. In both white and fancy colored lab-made diamonds, the exact composition of trace elements may differ from their natural diamond counterparts. A lab-made diamond can only be distinguished from natural diamonds using specialized equipment that can detect the minor differences in trace elements and crystal growth. In general, lab-grown diamonds are 25 to 40% less expensive than natural mined diamonds. Okay, now we can go to our main question. Is it really sustainable? When comparing the environmental impact of lab-grown versus mined diamonds, both the total amount of energy needed as well as the kind of energy used are important factors to consider. Growing diamonds requires less energy compared to mining gems from the Earth's crust. Typically, lab-produced diamonds use 250 million joules per carat, while mined diamonds use 538.5 million. Water usage is one of the most significant areas where lab diamonds and mined diamonds differ greatly. Note that for every carat of a mined diamond, 126 gallons of water are used. On the other hand, lab-grown or artificial diamonds consume 18 gallons of water only. And since lab diamonds are created in controlled conditions inside buildings, there is zero threat to the environment and biodiversity. The amount of carbon emitted by lab-grown diamonds is significantly lower than that of mined diamonds. Research findings by Princeton University reveal that lab diamonds have a carbon footprint of about 18 to 22 percent of mined diamonds. But, just because a diamond is grown in a lab does not automatically mean it is sustainable. The environmental impact of lab-grown diamonds varies, depending on the local regulations in place and the policies of the producers, mainly in the energy use. For example, the most sustainability-minded companies produces lab-grown diamonds using solar or wind power. This reduces the emissions and environmental impact of their stones. Most lab-grown diamond manufacturers don't use renewable energy sources. However, researchers constantly look for improvements not only to the quality of lab stones but also to their production methods. Thus, there is potential for truly sustainable lab-grown diamonds in the future.